Hello YouTube, this is PSB Slimhacks, and today I'm going to show you how you can configure triple monitor setup using an NVIDIA uh, graphics card. Uh, if you are an AMD user like me, well I used to be an AMD user, we used to use a software called uh, Catalyst Controller if I'm not mistaken. And for me Catalyst Controller was a little bit easier in a, to find the options and how to navigate and set up your triple monitor display uh, in your AMD graphics card. but uh, when I upgraded to my NVIDIA GTX 60, uh, I had a little bit of trouble configuring my triple monitor setup. Uh, but today, that's what I'm here to, to uh, show you guys, how to easily set up your triple monitor. So I have one screen, have all screens uh, correspond with each other. So meaning we could drag window by window by window, window to each screen, like just moving across, having the taskbar go along all triple display, all the, tr the screens and and all that good stuff so yeah so currently I purposely disable two screens one screen I I basically reset my graphics card settings to show you the experience when you first connect three monitors to your graphics card for the very first time two of them are gonna be inactive one of them is gonna be active of course and you need to have uh, just like for uh, Radian users uh, they use um, catalyst controller to uh, to help them uh, do their settings uh, for us, we're going to use uh, a software called NVIDIA GeForce Experience, and you can get that software by going to NVIDIA's website below. Well, not below, but going to NVIDIA's website, search it up on Google, search up your graphics card, and then download the drivers from there in the software. Or you could just insert your um, your NVIDIA's uh, CD that came with your graphics card. So once you have that down, you want to click this um, this icon right here in the taskbar. It, looks, it has the NVIDIA logo. You want to click on it and you want to go to open NVIDIA control panel once the control panel opens up this is how it's going to look like and for this we want to go to where it says display we want to go to set up multiple displays and as you can see right here uh, the graphics card is detecting three screens one of them is grayed out which means I cannot uncheck that mark otherwise I won't be able to see anything and the two screens are available to check and then it will start displaying something. It will it'll be active. So for now, I'm just gonna check both of these screens, both of these check or check marks. I mean, I'm just gonna go apply. So here's a better view. Hopefully, you can see that. And now, as you can see, all my three screens are active. So as you can see, uh, and for now they are they're actually corresponding. So that means I can move window by window by window. So that's pretty much fine. But now, if you some people may may be okay with this, but me, I like to look. I want my desktop to look as professional as possible. Meaning, I want only one background. One of the this is my background right now: a moon and a planet or whatever it is. And this background right now it's forty three, four thousand three hundred and twenty by nine hundred. The size that's why it looks compressed and squished up because this screen, this one screen right here is 1440 times 900 but this entire thing is 43 43 20 hundred times 900 whatever so I want this one wallpaper to stretch out across all three screens same with the taskbar I wanted to to uh, go across all three screens because I like my workspace professional so in order to do that we're just gonna go back into control panel and right now we're gonna go to uh, something called um, all right, we go to display. Under the display, we have set up multiple displays, and right here we want to click surround spanning options. We click that, and right here where it says surround configure, just click span display surround, and we can click configure. This is going to bring us to a screen. Um, for now. Right now it's displaying two screens and why? Because the topology is since one times two, so that's one row of two screens. We want to change it to one row of three screens, so one times three. Oh, sorry guys. I'm not sure what I was doing. Once you chose the po the topology to one one by three screens, we wanna select all the screens we want we want to use for that. So we're obviously gonna check all screens. And right now as you can see. Uh, the, the graphics card is assigning a number to each screen so this is screen 2 this is screen 1 this is screen 3 we want to make sure we follow this order to 
one, three in this screen right here. So right now it's fine, two, one, three. But I'm gonna purposely switch two screens. So here I'm gonna move three screen, uh, number three screen where number one screen is, and I'm just gonna enable surround, and I, and this is what's gonna happen. Oh, uh, besides flashing. Since I changed all uh, my screens, this was assigned number two, this was assigned number one, or number three, and this is number one. So right now, okay, right now this is loading, so I'm just going to wait. So the screens are, uh, I purposely assigned them like this, so this is two, three, one, but in reality it's supposed to be two, one, three. So this is what's going to happen. If you have them in the wrong arrangement, items from screen 2 which is this screen right here if I drag them this way it's gonna show up in screen 3 so if I drag this is number 2 and this is number 3 and as you can see it's already peeking out so whatever I drag from here is gonna is gonna skip this screen and it's gonna, gonna go directly to screen number 3 and if I keep moving this way it's gonna appear in screen 1 so here I'm just gonna show you guys you could already see it but I'm just gonna show you so as you can see See how it cuts off from going into screen 1 and it directly goes into screen 3. And then if I keep moving this way, it's going to appear in screen 1. So that's what's going to happen if you don't have them all correctly arranged. So again, this is num monitor number 2, monitor number 1, monitor number 3. So 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3. So I'm just going to swap them. And I'm just going to click apply the changes. And this is exactly how I want it, guys. So now once uh, you correctly arrange your screens, you could just exit this out. And I'm just going to show the, the entire desktop. So as you can see, now my wallpaper is stretched, up, stretched across all three screens. And right now I'm just going to show you about the taskbar. So right now my taskbar is perfectly fine the way I want it across all three screens. For me it was super hard to find this option but it turns out to be super simple. You want to go back into control panel and where it says desktop you want to go to surround displays and and uh, I'm pretty sure by default with you it's just going to be selected right here. Uh, oops. It's probably going to be confined taskbar to single display. So that means that the taskbar is going to be in only one screen and the main screen only. This is the main screen. You could set the main screens to whatever you want, but I personally do not like this. I like my taskbar to go across all screens. So in order to do that, you just want to go to desktop, surround displays, and uncheck this or check, click on it and then it's going to show up on all three screens and this is how I like it and one little tip now you guys are probably going to be oh so if, so now that my taskbar and, and triple monitors is acting like one huge screen so if I maximize my window is it going to go across all three screens no or yes and the reason why is because if we go to desktop surround displays if we if we click on this one maximize windows across all all, all displays is gonna do exactly that. So if I so if I uh, maximize this, this is gonna cover all three screens. So I personally do not like this. So as you can see, it stretches the hell out of my window. Well, it doesn't stretch it, but it just makes it huge that covers all three screens. I do not like that. So if you open up uh, your browser, it's gonna do the same thing. I mean, some people may like it, depending if they're seeing a video that's actually this dimension, which I'm pretty sure there's videos out there, but the majority of them are not like that. So personally, I do not like this. So whenever I maximize it, I want it to maximize in only one one screen, this screen, this screen, or that screen, whatever. And in order to do that, we just go, oops, we just go back right here, desktop, surround this place, and just uncheck this, and now, it only maximizes in one screen so if I open up uh, my browser again see it only maximizes in one screen one screen one sc oh one screen alright guys so uh, this is pretty much it so oops yes of course I like to apply my settings exit out 
So yeah guys, thank you for watching my video on how to uh, configure triple monitor display in a professional way using an NVIDIA graphics card. I'm a previous owner of AMD Radeon uh, graphics cards and I was totally new to the settings but it wasn't that hard. So yeah, again guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like if this helped you. Thumbs up, well, like and thumbs up are the same thing, but whatever. Uh, comment on what you think uh, and subscribe for more PC tutorials. Uh, this is PSP Slim Hacks. Bye.